the seed of the serpent, the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Before starting this study, let's bear this in mind. The tree of life is a symbol of a tree whose fruit has to do with eternal life. The tree of knowledge of good and evil is a symbol of a tree whose fruit has to do with death. Now let's ask ourselves the following questions. Did God put life eternal in a regular tree? The answer is no. It was impossible for life eternal to dwell in a tree, we are already made aware in John chapter 1, verse 1 that in the beginning, life eternal was in the word. If you are a believer, how do you get eternal life today? The answer is that you receive life eternal by rejecting your own interpretation of the truth and accepting God's revelation of the truth for your day. Introduction Many have asked themselves the following questions. What is the point of this doctrine on the seed of the serpent? What's the big deal and why is it so important that we study it? Does it really affect our salvation? To find out the truth about this doctrine, we need to find out what the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil are, what the serpent was before the curse, what the original sin was, and if Cain was Adam's son. Truth about the two trees The book of Genesis tells us that the Lord planted a garden in Eden and made trees to grow out of the ground. But in the midst of the garden, were two trees, which were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Genesis 2, verse 9 Man was to eat of the fruit of the tree of life and not eat the fruit of the other tree. Although it's recorded as if these two trees came out of the earth, the truth is that they did not come out of the earth. They were simply in the midst of the garden, they were just present. The trees being in the midst of the garden does not mean that they were in the middle. Midst in this context does not mean middle, it means that the trees were involved in the thick of things or involved in everything. They were the system by which all things operated. The two trees were not regular trees, and their fruits were not regular fruits. They represented the symbol of something that brings forth fruit. Here is the revelation, the tree of life was the will of God, the word, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil was the will of man leading to death. Since the two trees were not literal trees, what were their fruits? In Genesis, when God was telling Adam about the fruits of the trees, he was revealing to him the two ways of populating the earth. The fruit of the tree of life was the spoken word of that day which was spiritual multiplication. The fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil was sex. God was telling Adam that the perfect way to multiply was through spiritual multiplication and not through sex like animals. Did God trap Adam and Eve by giving them sexual organs? No. God being perfect in all his ways wanted his son to have a choice, so he presented to him these two ways of populating the earth. Conclusion After the fall in Eden, God allowed humans to multiply through sex but only within wedlock, marriage, but still, it was not the perfect will of God. God's plan before the fall was for humans to be born through spiritual multiplication, just like Jesus was born. The greatest battle today is our will, our own interpretation of truth, versus the will of God, his revelation. Partaking of the tree of knowledge of good and evil means to choose to live by your own free will, by your own knowledge and refusing God's revelation of the truth. In our next study, we will by the help of God give more light on who the serpent was and how he deceived the woman. Stay blessed.